Alrighty guys, welcome back to another RV walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. We are here at Padata RV Center here in Tucson, Arizona. And this is my first video on my new phone. Just got me an S21 Ultra. So hopefully the quality and the stabilization is a little bit better. Today, we are looking at a 2013 Winnebago Journey 34B. This thing is just under 36 feet. I think it's 35 feet, seven inches overall. And it's a, a beautiful coach for the size of it. We're, we're gonna get a whole look at it, interior, exterior, see everything this thing has to offer. Let's start right up top. 265, 75R, 22 fives. These tires are Toyos dated 30 of 20. So they're not even a year old yet. This is on a Freightliner chassis. Fuel fill right there, which it is a dual fuel fill. We do have an electric, electric awning over the door, an electric awning that comes out over the slide. Now it does go out a little bit further, but as we can see, I got a little close to the other journey right next to us, so I didn't want to hit it. And then above, right below the actual awning, we do have slide toppers with metal covers and metal covers for your awnings, both of them. Very nice, so that fabric shouldn't get messed up anytime soon. 32 inch outdoor TV, this was one of the options. So is this massive slide out tray. If you saw my other video, my other journey, you've noticed this tray is absolutely huge. And then down below, there is a little bit more storage and this will slide out both ways. And you can see you got a water tank in there and then some power, nothing too crazy. And then right there, you got a big old inverter. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's a 2800 watt because you have the French door refrigerator in this, which was also an option. We literally just took this in earlier today. We haven't cleaned it up. They brought it down to the lot so we can actually hopefully try to sell it. That's why that desk's so dirty. But as you can see, that's your death fill. It is fully exposed. You can see some leveling jacks in there too. Another little mainly hose storage. This wide angle lens is awesome. All right, so it is a rear radiator. We got a 10,000 pound hitch down here. Looks like they had something else mounted, probably some type of a uh, tray, I'd assume. Uh, 340 horse Cummins under there. Kind of hard to see it, of course, with the uh, radiator there, but we do have a backup camera. And then I'm gonna show you the roof. There is a couple solar panels up there. So let me climb up really quick. It's a little loud because I got the AC running. You can see first AC, second AC, three different solar panels. And there is a dish satellite up there, awning, slide topper. And then your third slide is almost a full body slide right there on the driver's side. Meet you back down below. And down here, this little right here where it says journey does lift up as you can see to get a little bit more accessible to get to those lines right there. All right, so now we'll take a peek at that driver's side. Like I said, it is a full body slide. That's why it's not super deep. It's only, God, that only looks 12 inches, maybe a little bit bigger. Those two extra batteries are for the French door fridge. It's part of the option too. 50 amp power service, of course. Transfer switch up above. I can't believe I forgot to open this. That is gonna be the back of the fridge, probably access to the water line. Dump station, water fill, filter an outdoor shower. And then here's the other side of that other side of that slide out tray. As you can see, it has plenty of room to come out this way too. Storage down below again. Got a little bit of lights, a couple things in there. Your propane tank, 27.9 gallons. Once again, fuel fill. Look how skinny my finger looks, my God. All right, and then the gin set. Obviously we got the generator. Don't laugh at me. I cannot figure out how to slide this dang thing out. I looked inside, looked in that compartment. I found one little lever down below, but there is an 8,000 Cummins owning generator, 8,000 watt gen, gen set in there. I'll show you the hours inside. All right, we got a couple steps in and we got a few more up into the coach right when we walk into the left. You got all your power outlets, or well, power buttons, chassis, coach, battery, step, awning wind sensor which is nice awning power door awnings lights all that good stuff so let's step on in 
This is your first view of the coach. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give you an idea, I'll do my little corner thing. I'm gonna go back and stand right there and show you the front. And then I'm gonna go down the hallway to the left and show you the front again. All right, so I'm right in front of the bedroom. We got bathroom to the right, fridge to the left, kitchen, and of course the galley. So, beautiful looking RV. It is a shorty, you gotta keep that in mind. It's a diesel pusher, but it is only 36 feet, pretty much, 35 feet, seven inches. I'm gonna shut this door and let's check out the cab. All right, so, first things first, Couple tags if you want to read them. You know, let's get a little zoom in on that. There we go. And we got your electronic leveling jacks, exhaust brake, mirror heat, your shade controls, mirror controls, Allison 2500 series transmission, battery boost, air horn. Gotta have that. We're actually gonna test that. Let's start her up. Show you how many miles. We got your cool little flip top screen right there. Can't even hear with the gen and the AC going. And then where's my little control? There it is. All right, so how would you stop it? I understand. 34,002.9 for the miles. That's practically nothing. That is incredible. We do have a smart wheel. So you got your kind of controls right here. And then air horn is on. So loud. Of course, air ride, air brakes, wouldn't be a dish pusher if it didn't have all that great stuff. Fan, gen set, entry, you can lock the door, which is kind of cool. And then uh, just radio power, backup camera and side vision camera, of course. Oh, that's pretty cool. So they got backup mounted here, side vision goes down below. That's actually a great feature. You can see, you can keep your backup on if, you're tra if you uh, have a trailer. Do have a nightshade. I got my motor on, so it should stop right there. <clears throat> All right, so one thing about Winnebago, they have great furniture. Really withstands the test of time. I would assume this is all original. No rips, no tears. You got a power seat here, and that is to turn it around. Our passenger side has the lounger plus chair. So you have these higher uh, side rails. Does turn, also electric. A little bit of lumbar resistance. Got a pop-out leg rest right there. And then check this out. It took me a while to figure out how to actually get it working. Oh, pausing. All right, so we go here, 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 and then flip. There it is. I knew it was some way. There you go. Passenger does get a little kind of desk area, which is nice because you do not have one in front. But there is a step cover right there. So pretty cool. Passenger seat is actually quite nice. I love sitting with these higher rails. It's just, it's a lot more comfortable. And once again, looks great. Storage up front, every storage right here is all the same exact thing and size. There you go. Two connected there, connected to the right. To the left, even smaller. You got one area over here. That's gonna be mainly for your satellite DVD player things like that all right let's start on the first passenger slide so slide goes from this corner all the way down to this corner right here there was a couch of course um, the original floor plan let me show you had one of these cool little l-shaped couches they took that out and put in two recliners they are electric but you do have a little bit of a gap to the right you can easily replace that with another couch if you want if you want more comfortable a have a great viewing angle for the televator right in front of the dinette so up to you personal preference but it is not original small storage there it looks like it'd be deep it's not and then you got four storages up above. They are all, well, two of them are connected. And then those two are connected. But other than that, that's literally it in the slide. Couple lights, forgot to turn on. Whoa, there's a TV lift control there too. There's one TV lift control right there, but I guess. Look at that, that's awesome. All right, so that's pretty cool. Now, continuing on, they did add some extra kind of detail in this coach on a couple areas this, this gray is really in right now but it looks good it actually matches thank god now you're the slide goes from this corner literally down 
past that door into the bedroom. So we'll hit that here in a second. Your dinette is a pop-up dinette, something to point out. So when the slides are in, you take this leg off and it kind of folds down and you store the chairs. They had them stored over there. Something to point out, but you still have a dinette if need be. Couple drawers, couple storages, nothing too crazy, but still. Now the ones under the dinette aren't nearly as deep because of course the TV is in the way. And finally, we do have three more storages up above the TV. Now, before we get to the kitchen, let's check out some of my printouts here. So, like I said, 34,000 miles, free liner chassis, 142,000. The actual floor plan. And then right here are kind of your tank sizes highlighted some of the optional equipment I can find or some of the important stuff. And continued on. All right, let's keep this walkthrough going. So this slide, this part of the kitchen does come and slide over the sink. So you do lose access to this left side, but we do still have access to the right side. So you still can't get to this even when the slide is in. And after this, we'll put the slides in and we'll check it out. So metal sink, two bays, pretty good amount of counter space. Under right here, you do have your three burner gas stove top with two Corian covers. No oven, so you do have a convection. Always fun to deal with those. Real backsplash, not just a sticker. And you got a little bit of storage up here. Now you do have a lot more storage down below when it comes to the drawers. That's one plus not having the oven. So you get three massive pull-out drawers. And you got four of these guys over here. And then under the sink, even more storage. And then that area right there is for those Corian tops for the sink. All right, that's your kitchen. Minus the fridge right behind the kitchen, light controls, and then your main control panel. You got all your slide controls up top, block heater, AC with the multiple zones, power controls, gen sets, all that fun stuff. And then, oh, there we are. 189.3 hours. Oh, here, you probably can't see that. 189.3 hours on that gen set. And then KitchenAid French door fridge. This is, like I said, was also an option. At that bottom freezer and ice maker and you got water inside dispenser right there there you go and then to the left you got that classic winnebago pantry very usable very space saving and there's two of them very nice All right, now finally, before we hit the bedroom, right behind me, we have your bathroom. It is an all-in-one bathroom. It's not a bath and a half model or anything. You got a raised pedestal, a china toilet, a little bit of storage, nothing too crazy. Got a good amount of toilet paper storage in there though. Medicine cabinet, fantastic fan. And finally your shower. Bad size, light up there in the skylight. Yeah, boys, five nine. Yep. I can even stop doing that in these diesel pushers. They're pretty dang tall. All right. Now, last but not least, we have your bedroom behind this pocket door. Beautiful. Same flooring in here. Looks great. Now that slide extends all the way to that corner. So it's like pretty much a full body slide. And then we have one more additional slide in the corners for your bed. Now this is a king bed. It's an inner spring bed. It's on an air mattress or it, oh, actually, hold on, let's look. It's actually an ideal rest. So it is an air mattress. I could have sworn it was an ideal spring, but I just realized we had a couple of remotes left and right. There you go. All right. Three storages above the bed. They're standard size. You got a little bit of lights down there. I don't remember if there's storage. No, no storage under the bed. Good to know. 
full wall closet, stack washer dryer, clothes hamper, and then six drawers, two of those, four of those. Check it out, the hamper, love it. TV, and then that same style kind of cabinetry you got above the dinette, three of them. Now at first I thought this was a combo unit, but we opened special door number two. Got your full stack washer and dryer. Very nice. A lot better than a combo unit in my opinion and from what every single customer has told me. And then you can see access to those lines in the back. And that right there guys, pretty much concludes the actual walkthrough portion of it. As you can see, we can't see all the way up front in the coach from the rear. So it's not too bad. Now what I'm gonna do, like I said, let me put all these slides in, give you a really good look at how it looks while you guys are traveling. Put you on pause, I'll meet you back here. Standing in the bedroom, here's that bedroom slide in. You can jump across the bed if you need to get to the closet, but here's your walkway up through the whole area. So fridge, bathroom, easily accessible for both. And as I was saying, your sink right here does get covered up a little bit, but just slide that out, still got access to it. So not too bad. And then I did put the dinette down if you want any type of walkability through there. Like I said, that's where they stored it prior. So might as well keep it there. It's not bad. I mean, very, very accessible, even closed up. And there's the look from the front. Now let me run outside and show you guys the outside. Let me get a couple things out of my way. The door awning, you do have to hold the button, but the other awning, you just click it once and it will slide in. Let me continue getting that in right now. And let me shut all the compartments so you actually can see what it looks like in that travel mode. All right, here's the passenger side. Looks good. Mosey on over to the driver, or I'm sorry, that's the driver's side. I'm an idiot. Mosey on over to the passenger side. And then walk to the back and give you guys a look from back there. And there it is. 2013 Winnebago Journey 34B Freightliner chassis, 340 Cummins, triple slide, 30,000 miles. Beautiful coach. Hopefully I gave you a good look. Let me know if this uh, new new phone worked out, if it gave you a little bit better, better angle, you know, a little bit more stability. And I will put all the info in the description down below. If you guys have any questions, give me a call, shoot me an email. All that info is down below. Have a great day.